I didn't know I got to go first, so. Um, I find it funny as a teacher that I can stand in front of kids daily and make an utter fool of myself. But when asked to speak in front of adults, a street panic sets in. So, after I got over the initial shock, I began to think, what could I tell you about Amity you don't already know? So I decided to let the students in my class um, do it for me. Who better to tell you about, the, about uh, Amity than the sixth graders who spent six years of their life underground um, only to see the light, for one. <laughs> After reading through their many responses, it became very clear that every student had a very unique experience at the old Amity. And while we all love the new building, there are certainly some things that will be missed. Like sledding down the side of the building on a cold winter's day, on the weekends, of course. <laughs> the, various, the various pieces of playground equipment that they spent their entire, entire childhood on. And believe it or not, many of them said that they realized they missed the uniqueness of being underground and being a true groundhog. While so many of these memories were hard to let go, others won't be missed so much. Lake Amity. After rainstorms, you could see teachers giving kids piggyback rides to and from their cars so they weren't shin deep in water. Leaky ceilings, scattered garbage cans, a flooded cafeteria, and gym. Lack of sunlight, our central office staff, resource room teachers, and librarian would likely not see the sun all day. Triangular rooms where 20% of the space was nearly unusable. Power outages. Nothing like starting your day under the glow of lanterns. And probably the best, porta potties. For days when the toilets and sinks decided they no longer wanted to work. I'm sure the students and staff could add to this list, but somehow, we still love to be there day in and day out without hesitation or complaint. As we transition into this new state-of-the-art school, the students and teachers have already made this Amity their home. Some of the amazing things that we have already found to our liking are a beautiful new courtyard with turf mounds that will provide an optimal learning experience outdoors. Lots and lots of windows that provide natural sunlight for all in classrooms, the office, and the library that I can tell you has already provided daily cheer for everyone. Designated learning spaces in the hallways for small group instruction, large square and rectangular rooms where 32 growing sixth graders can comfortably learn. A beautiful new gym where parents can come to watch their students play basketball without having to sit directly on the court. Technology, with this school comes many new teacher and student devices that allow for more flexibility in planning lessons and will create many new learning opportunities. And security, top of the line security that will ensure the safety of our students and staff for years to come. As you can see, there's a lot to look forward to in this new building, and those that reap the benefits the most are the students. In closing, as a teacher and parent at Amity, I could not be more thankful to the school board, district administrative staff, community partners, and voters. Because of their vision, energy, and determination, all of this became a reality. I think I speak for the entire Amity community when I say thank you.